All right, let's talk pre-shave oil. Now, if you're not using, and I'm talking to ladies and gentlemen here, uh, if you're not using a, a, a pre-shave oil, you are missing out big time. It will give you a closer shave, it reduces uh, irritation, nicks from um, from your razor, um, it, it moisturizes, it uh, decreases problems with ingrown hairs. It is sensational. And so what you do, if you don't already know about this, because you can go get pre-shave oil and pay like 25 bucks. And I mean, you can go out and do that, but why do that when I'm here? Because I'm gonna show you how to make it. It is so unbelievably simple. All right, so what I'm going to use here is um, a two carrier oils. So we're gonna use, car now you could use basically any carrier oil, but the most common uh, pre-shave oils use castor oil and olive oil. Castor oil has um, something called um, under silenic acid in it, really fantastic at protecting your skin, moisturizing, because what it does is gives a protective barrier um, because we're basically exfoliating your skin. So whether it's your legs and what have you, or your, your head. So what we're gonna do is use castor oil. Hey, you wanna know something really cool about castor oil? Um, it contains a substance called ricin, R-I-C-I-N, which if, you, if you've ever watched Breaking, Breaking Bad, they talk about ricin poisoning. What is that I say? Well, just for a little bit of trivia, ricin is a chemical in the castor oil beans and um, if you ingest it, it's, it's poisonous and it can kill you with about eight beans. However, if you uh, inhale it or are injected by it, which is what happened to uh, Georgi Markov in 1978, a Bulgarian novelist, um, he upset the wrong people and uh, was stabbed with an umbrella that had ricin in the tip and he died three days later of an agonizing death because ricin, when you inject it, is a thousand times uh, uh, more more poisonous than eating it. So, and there is no known antidote. So, recent poisoning, you don't want to get stabbed by a, a recent inject, you know, injected uh, umbrella, just if you're out and about, just so you know. Righto, where was I? Oh yeah, castor oil. So we're going to use two parts castor oil to one point, part olive oil. And again, if you don't have castor oil, you can use, go to your carrier oils and look at the, um, you know, the different carrier oils and no, no biggie. Righto, so let's let's see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a nice little, right, so castor oil, here we go. Now, so I'm gonna make two parts castor oil. Now, let me just show you here so you know what's going on. I've got my little thing here, and I'm gonna put it in here so I don't make a mess of my desk here. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of castor oil. Righto, just so you can see that. It's quite thick, that's why you add the olive oil. But again, you could use grapeseed oil, but this has so many great properties. Let's just show you there. Okay. Two tablespoons of castor oil. Put that over there. And then, stay there. Got my extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to add that to it. One tablespoon, so as I said, two parts to one. And olive oil, of course, got fantastic antioxidant properties, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know all of that sort of stuff because you saw the olive oil uh, lecture. Uh, where am I? Here we are. Let's put the lids on these so I don't have some sort of major catastrophe. Righto. And then you want to put in, so what have we got there? That's uh, three ounces, which is 15 ounces, 45 mils. So let's do a 1% dilution rate of essential oils. You don't have to put essential oils in, but I'm gonna. So you wanna put about uh, one per five mils is nine drops, okay? Now, skin safe oils. So you wanna do something like lavender, frankincense. Um, I am going to use sandalwood, because I'm a man's man, man. No one believed that at all, did they, really? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Nine of gorgeous sandalwood. Let's do this, I'm probably making a lot of noise there with the microphone. Alrighty, so there we go. So we've got, uh, got that in. I get my bottle. <laughs> I love this stuff. If you haven't shaved with, without pre-shave oil before, <laughs> you're in for a treat. So let's put that in there. Now you put in anything at all. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. So, where are we? 
I had my little dropper. So it's Father's Day yesterday, so I'm making this as a Father's Day present to myself. So, okay, so what would you do? What do you do? Here's what you do. Let me, let me get this out of the way. Sorry if that makes a big noise with the microphone. Get that out of there. All right, so let's say it's uh, the morning and you go, all right, it's time to shave uh, my head. So you have a shower, which opens up the pores, which softens up everything, yes, yes, yes. Okay, or you didn't do your legs or what have you. And then you don't need much. Right, eh? Get a little bit of that, you see there? A little bit of oil. And then, so this softens up your hairs, as I said, protective barrier. And by the way, castor oil is only number one, even though it's thick, it's number one on the comedogenic scale, the clog pouring, pouring clogging pores scale. So, no big deal there. Same with olive oil, it's only two. All right, so there we go. So I'm pre-oiled, so then you'd leave that on for about a minute. <laughs> well, we don't have a minute, that would be boring. So, what do you do? You're oiled up, or oiled up, or oiled up, or you know what I mean. Where are we? And then, just go through your normal routine. What I do for my craft, eh? So now, we all lather that up. It's about as high risk as I get shaving with their no mirror. And away you go. And... So, <laughs> little wonder my son thinks I'm a complete nutcase. And away you go. So, that's all there is to it. I better go finish this off, film another lecture. <laughs>